Good afternoon, St. Peter's. This is Pastor Carl with your weekly update for Friday, April the 1st, 2022. No April Fools uh, coming from me today. No, just the truth. The truth that God loves you, that God sent his son to die for you. And that's the good news of the gospel. We're getting together Sunday morning here to worship God at 8.30 and 11 o'clock here in the sanctuary. We hope you'll come and join us. We've also got uh, we've got Sunday school that meets at 9.45 where you can come together and sit around a table with other believers and learn about God, learn about Jesus, learn about this great gift of God's grace and the uh, gift of salvation that he makes available to us through his son, Jesus. Also want to invite you to come out uh, Sunday afternoon at 4.30. We are going to be having our weekly Bible study where I will be leading folks through a study on the book of Galatians. I hope you'll come and plan to be a part of that as well. I want to share with you a very brief passage of scripture this afternoon. This is one of my favorite passages. This comes from the book of Psalms, uh, the very first Psalm. It said, blessed is the man who does not walk in the counsel of the wicked or stand in the way of sinners or sit in the seat of mockers, but his delight is in the law of the Lord and on his law, he meditates day and night. I share this passage today because I've been talking over the last uh, month or so about the need for daily Bible reading. That is to spend time each day reading the scriptures. Well, I want to challenge you to take that a step further. Once you have spent time reading the scriptures that day, pull out a journal or a piece of paper or a notebook or something and write down what you thought about that scripture. Write down what that scripture means to you, how it spoke to you spiritually. And if all you write is, well, today's passage was nothing but a bunch of genealogies and I found myself rather bored writing, reading it, go ahead and write that down. Or if God speaks to you through that word and, and makes you realize something you haven't realized before, write that down. Because then we're not only going to be reading the word, but we're also going to be meditating on it. And it's going to help us to retain more and to learn more of what God is trying to uh, share to us through his word. I, I bring this up today because earlier this week I was cleaning off my desk and I came across um, an assignment that I did for one of my classes at Duke about 12 years ago. And in this, in this class, we were told to write something in a spiritual journal each day based on what we talked about in class that day. And at the end of each journal entry, we had to write a prayer asking God to take what we had learned that day and to use that and to help us to grow from it. And so I shared, uh, I shared some passages from this journal at our Wednesday evening service. You can find that online on our YouTube page if you're interested in looking at it. But I found it fascinating all these years later to look back and see how God was forming my thoughts, how God was transforming my way of thinking all those years ago. And of course, I look at it and I say, wow, I've changed a lot since then. No, it's not that I have changed. God has changed me. God has enabled me to grow. And the more time that I spend studying his word, contemplating that word, and writing down what that word is doing to me, the more I'm going to continue to grow. So I challenge you, if you're not currently uh, keeping a spiritual journal, start one. Add that to your time of daily Bible reading. And you'll be amazed at how much God is going to transform your life. I hope to see you Sunday morning. And remember, I am praying for you.